So you are welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation. Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows what we have a raised to the power m minus n. The same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. That is here, this becomes 4 raised to the power x over 4 raised to the power 3 equals to 24 on this side. The next step here. Is the same thing as 4 raised to the power x over 64 then equals to here we can write this as 24 over 1. That is next step here we cross multiply 4 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 4 raised to the power x then equals to 24 times 64. Then from here we take the log on both sides. That is here we have log. 4 is to power x equals to here we have log 24 times 64. That is from here we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m, which implies what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log. 24 times 64. And from here we divide both sides by log 4. That is divide this side by log 4. Also divide this side by log 4. Which implies here log 4 comes each other. And we have x left, which is equal to log 24 times 64 over log 4. Then, from what we have here, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 24 plus log 64 then over log 4. Then from here, we separate this into two fractions and where it becomes x equals to log 24 over log 4 plus log 64 over log 4. And from here, 64 same thing as 4 times 4 times 4, which is 4 is to the power 3. That is log 24 over log 4 plus log 4 is to the power 3 over log 4. That is next step here. We apply the power law of log and this 3 here comes here and becomes x equals to log 24 over log 4 plus 3 log 4 over log 4. That is here, log 4 comes to each other. And we have 3 left here. And x now equals to log 24 over log 4 plus 3. The okay, next step from what we have here, also 24 can be expressed as 4 times 6, which implies here what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 6 over log 4 plus 3 here. And this also follows the law of logarithm. And this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 6 all over log 4 plus 3. Then here we separate this into two fractions as well. And we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 6 over log 4 plus 3.
which implies here no four also cancel each other we have one left here the one we have becomes x equals to one plus we can write three here first then plus log six over log four that is this same thing as x equals to four plus log six over log four then also here we can write six as two times three which implies all we have becomes x equals to four plus log two times three over log four that is this here also follows the law of log root and this becomes x equals to four plus log two plus log three over log four then also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to four plus log two over log four plus log three over log four and also here four same thing as two times two which is same thing as two square and what we have here becomes x equals to four plus log two over log two square plus log three over log two squared then we apply the power of log here yeah, two comes here then also here yeah, all we have becomes x equals to four plus log two over two log two plus log three over two log two that is here yeah, log two comes to each other here yeah? we have one over two left that is x equals to four plus one over two then plus here we can write this as one over two times log three over log two that is here we apply chain of base when we have log a over log b is same thing as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to four plus half same thing as nine over two then plus half this becomes log three base two that is here we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to SCM here as two then here this becomes nine plus log three base two that is the value of x here equals to nine plus log three base two all over two then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 9 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then, what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 9 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. The minus 3 here is equal to 24 on this side. That is, here yeah, we can bring this power together as one fraction. Here yeah, we have over 1. Now we have become 4 is to power SCM up here as 2. And this same thing as 9 plus log 3 base 2. Then minus, here yeah, we have 6 now. Is it equal to 24 on this side? Then here. Yeah. 9 minus 6, that's 3. So we have 4 is to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 24 from here? Then we can express 4 as 2 squared, which is raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 24 on this side? Also here, yeah, this power multiplies and two here cancel each other. We have two raised to power three plus log 
3 base 2 is it equals to 24 from share which implies here yeah, this follows the law of indices and what are we following we have a raised to power m plus n which is equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n that is yeah this becomes 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 24 on this side 2 raised to power 3 to multiply itself 3 times that's 8 n times this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here we have 3 is it equals to 24 here and of course 8 times 3 here gives us 24 which is equals to 24 on this side that is left hand side equals to the right hand side hence here we conclude that x equals to 9 plus log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now